Can I play something else then? Like maybe something short? Do I still have time to do that? I feel like playing Don't Open Your Eyes for a bit. I have seen the game before. And I thought it was nice. And I don't mind playing it. And it would be nice to play on stream. You know, the game gets to be like, here's the, what this game is about, you know? I'll probably do that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Wait, let me change the category for a bit. How do I shit? Uh... Yeah, anyway, uh Oh my god. <laughs> I really I really want to go into a long a long like discussion about Dr. Stone. <laughs> it's not a time. Oh my god. Wait. I'll find some other time. Okay, uh, don't open your eyes. There you go. Maybe, I think, I think some of you guys will probably like the vibe of this game, probably. I quite liked it myself, and I thought the writing was nice. Right, okay, let me... This is a text-based game. Please keep your eyes open to fully enjoy the experience, is what it said. Options. Oh. Full screen. There you go. Oh, did you not detect the game? Oh no! It is not detecting. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Yeah, the game is being very weird. We gotta have to close it again. Oh, why is it so weird? I can't see my mouse. You see that? I can't see. I can't. I can't see my mouse. What? Don't need to play the game, Adila. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Oh, that was weird. Okay. I might have to play this a window because it's I can't see my mouth. Oh. Okay, I think you guys can see this. You can see the game, tech speed. Down. Everything's on full. Low. Okay. Start. There you go. See this? It's getting late. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Barking dogs, falling sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. But not even the turning gears of my brain are producing much sound. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Quiet. Too quiet. I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. 
I'll know, since I've made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three, as a minorly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness, like the throat of a gargantian beast. Logically thinking, cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway, but... I don't want to look at it, so I take a deep breath and close my eyes. In my room, there's a bed in my room. There's a wardrobe in my room. There's pictures framed on the wall. My room is part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Will someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around, I'll do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. What's that sound? Are those footsteps? No, that's impossible. It must be my imagination. But it's getting closer. Closer. And closer. And closer. They are gone. Right. There's no way someone could be there. Do I open my eyes? Ah, now here's... I? I know about this game, so I would know what happened. What happened, so... What do you guys think? Like, what well, do you guys want me to open? Do you guys want to open your eyes? Or do you want to, like, just keep my eyes closed? And, like, keep the mystery of this being a bit longer? Take your pick, man. Would you open your eyes in this kind of situation, Ubera? <laughs> I see you are shaking in terror. As much terror. This. As much terror as this. <laughs> would you or would you not? <laughs> uh oh, so you're gonna keep your eyes closed? Hey, we could go for that. I'm gonna take your emoji as I'm gonna keep my eyes closed. So, let's just not open our eyes then. I don't open my eyes. Open your eyes. Look at me. I do my best to ignore the voice. I feel so I can feel someone breathing over my ear. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. I have never seen myself before. It's so mean, Ubera. Oh my god. I don't know if my face is ugly. I don't know the color of my skin. I don't know if I'm even here. That is why I need you to open your eyes. Sassy voice. I like 
the tone of how this person speaks like it's really like it's really like really very good at ASMR hear these nerds so you can tell me how I look but I'm also shy so I might hide the moment you do you won't find me anywhere and soon you will forget like a faded dream I know you're not asleep you listen with those tiny ears of yours they look so fragile like I could almost grab them I feel something caress my ear put my fingers around them and tear them off if I do will you scream will I hear your voice it was a joke I'm joking don't be scared hey how do you think my eyes look when our gazes finally meet what will you find? Answer me. What do their eyes look like, bruh? I know. Do they look broken? Or they look empty? Or they look lost? What do you guys think? Like, how do you feel like? How would this creature, this ASMR boy, how would his eyes look? Will he just look so broken or empty? Or is just lost? Oh, the poor boy. <laughs> They, they just joke about tearing my ears off. Oh. <laughs> Why is your face like that? I honestly, actually, I don't remember what he will say already. Like, be, depending on answer, depending on what answer you choose, I actually don't really remember what he will say already. Now that I think about it, shit. <laughs> Is what what are those eyes? Are those broken eyes? Or like sinister eyes? You stand up and choke the man to death. Oh my god. Straight away like aggressive stance. Choose the aggressive rope. <laughs> are those are those I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The emo emoji you chose is just it. It looked like exactly the whole combination of broken, empty, and lost. <laughs> I don't know which is it. Is it empty? Do you want to read all my ears? Now you gotta ask. Oh no. You gotta answer their questions, bro. Okay, how about this? The answer is yes. Well, what do you mean yes? What is? Huh, is uh, do you want left or right? Yes. Okay, you know what? All right. So what? The the the. Wait, what is it? So do you want to rip out my ears? So you think he looks? Maybe he's broken. That's why he wants to. No. <laughs> Maybe he's broken, so he wants to like tear out my. Yes, right. So it's like, damn. You got some stuff going on, man. But he's only joking. Oh, wait. Okay, let's... <laughs> Your yeah is, give, is making, making me feel very... Like, very lost. <laughs> oh no, which is it? Okay, let's just broken. They look broken. Oh god. It may be so. I'm always training my sight to stare at what's in front of me, searching for that one precious thing. It's what drives me to look inside places such as this. But sometimes I strain so seem to fall off my face one after another making a cracking sound as they go a sound like this in my desperation I always attempt to piece them back together I kneel and 
search for the missing fragments of myself, but they are never there. Maybe the wind takes them somewhere out of my reach, and that makes me sad. So sad, I put my hands where my eyes should be, and I borrow my fingers, and I take it out. I take everything out. Every little piece that remains, harder, furiously, and wallowing in sorrow. I pray to whoever's listening to give back what's mine, to not make me lose more than I've already lost. I don't want to waste my time and search for more than I care for, yet no one delivers. No one is listening, and so I weep invisible tears until I can feel the sorrow no more. Hey, have you ever strained yourself so hard to see what you want to see, that you end up blinding yourself to all? Have you? Are you being silent? These eyes. Are these my eyes? Are these his eyes? Ubera? Or do you want to change the answer? Do you want to see what he will say if you choose a different eye? I think I think you can do that. Maybe. <laughs> Let's try that then. I can't remember whether you it can actually change or not, but Which one is worse? That may be so. The eyes are the window to the soul. That's what someone told me. Long ago, they said that the soul was holy, bright, beautiful. Every person has one. Both the good and the evil. But that person said I was the exception. That something like me couldn't possibly own something so holy. So so beautiful. They looked inside of me, took a deep breath, and announced their conclusion with great fatigue. Their eyes, eyes that could see it all, couldn't find anything in there. I'm sure that if you were to cut me apart, not even blood would flow out. Even if I felt it sometimes, crawling through my veins. Maybe that's why I've never seen myself before, because I'm empty. But isn't that something to be grateful for? Because if I were to look and find nothing there, then surely I would feel disappointed. By not looking, I can ease myself of that pain. So maybe this is for the best. I can't remember who was the first to recite these words to me. Nor the second, nor the third, nor the several others who came after. The only thing I remember said they looked as empty as I did to them. Hey, have you ever felt so empty, so devoid of what makes everyone special, that you've embraced the void as your own? Have you? I be silent. Yeah, bro. These eyes, are these my eyes? Like little buttholes, and these eyes look like orange eyes. Should <laughs> we cut open a lime or orange? That's what it looks like right now. Not getting paid for this therapy session. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's trying to he's trying to wheeze out free therapy session from from like us. What the fuck? <laughs> from the protagonist. Yo, I just tried to sleep and go work tomorrow. <laughs> Stop. You need help. Okay, let's see what he was saying. They look lost. Okay, you can choose and after that you decide that like, this is what you look like. They look lost. Mm. That may be so. I am never sure of where I am. My days consist of wandering about aimlessly, searching for something. I worry that if I'm not paying attention, what I'm searching for will slip away. 
the thought terrifies me. It terrifies me so much. So I always keep my eyes peeled, even if there's nothing to see. That way, nothing will slip away, no matter where it goes. And no matter where it hides, no matter how terrifying the world might be, no matter the countless terrible things I witnessed by mistake in the process, no matter what, I will never blink. Forever be confused by the world around me. I will forever be lost. But what is that something that I'm searching for? It's been so long since my wandering began. I can no longer recall the feelings that drove me to it. What is it? Is it something I can hold? Is it a being of flesh and bones? Is it nearby? Is it you? Hey. Have you ever looked so fervently for something that you end up losing yourself in the process? Have you? I remain silent. These eyes. Are these... My eyes? This new Eva episode is so wild. Hot <laughs> damn. I, I actually recall that I really like the writing. That I thought it was really like quite... How to say? Elegantly written. <laughs> the, the, the feel like... The f the whole feeling to that this whole thing. Okay, so shoot. Do, do you what do you think, Ubera? Is this his eyes? Or is it the lost eyes? Or is it the broken eyes? How do you feel? <laughs> New ever episodes like makes you think, man. No? Okay. Is that so? Okay, okay, it's not lost then. Do you think he looks empty? Oh, he looks. He got no eyes. <laughs> I can't choose that, Ubera. I can't select that. Damn. Uh, if I must say, the broken eyes looks the most. Uh, uh, even when he describes it, it sounds the most interesting to me personally. But I don't know. I don't know about you, man. There's no fourth option, Opera. Don't do this. <laughs> no, don't do this. I can't choose the fourth option. It looks like an X. <laughs> ah, I see you have made your choice already. <laughs> it is the X right over there. <laughs> it is right over there. It's over here. I just had to press once. And I have made my choice already. It's broken, okay. They look broken. There you go. Okay, it's the same thing. I like the sound it comes with this. It sounds really bad. Like, it sounds terrifying. Yes. Oh, do I open my eyes? Do you do I still open your eyes? <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> what happens? He just. I feel like I feel like we just. I don't know. Yes, I open my eyes. Dude is gonna talk you to sleep. <laughs> oh my god! He just. What? If this if this happened to you, you'd be like, Oh my god, I'm just gonna go sleep now. There's nothing there. Oh! That's it! Because <laughs> he's shy. There was no one there at all. What could this be? Is it a byproduct? Is it in the end a byproduct? Byproduct of your imagination? Of your... Paranoia, your restlessness for how quiet it is. It was me the whole time. Oh no. This is insane. Oh no. No. It'd be funny if I just open my eyes in the beginning and he's just gone. Okay, so that means we can't open our eyes if we want to. 
They look broken. Blah, 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 blah. Can I eat my normal pills? And, and finally go back to sleep like a normal person? Yes. No. So you won't look at me. Because you fucking disappear, you little <laughs> you little bitch. Even though your eyes are so pretty. Oh That means he watched me long enough to know how my eyes look like. Damn. I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Oh. A breath of cold air caress my eyelashes. It's fine. We still have time. Oh no. <laughs> the night is still and silent. Are you okay, Obera? Something moves over my bed sheets. You would reciprocate and grasp it. I'm sure your hands are warm, so very warm, because people are always warm. Hey, how do my hands look when my warmth finally meets yours? How will it feel? Answer me. 
bruh. <laughs> just down. He, 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 sound, he sounds like a asshole, doesn't he? <laughs> but he's like, should I push or pull? It's like, damn, I don't know, man. You can read the sign. I don't know. Okay, his hands. That's why he had the whole long narrative about opening doors. How? How do you think? Like, how do y'all think that his hands look? Do they look tired? Do they look deceitful? Do they look? Or do they look incomplete? Or we could go through the the options and see what what he says. We could go that. We could go do that. Oh my god! Remind uh, off topic. Not slightly off topic. We're going back to the door. Oh god! <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but like, I don't think I was very fond of sleeping in a room with like open especially if he has a view towards like a certain angle it's like i don't want to sleep with the door open like that <laughs> i don't know man okay they look tired they look tired they're still tired that may be so these fingers of mine have touched so many things <laughs> Something. The tip of my finger stands over the surfaces that I travel, and their sensations reach the core of my brain. Be it the softness of the first spring flowers, or the roughness of a wall made out of rubbish, caressing, grabbing, clawing, no matter the time of day, no matter if I'm awake or asleep, as if... They had a mind of their own. Even now, they clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. They like how these thousands of threads intertwine with each other. The rustle of fabric against fabric, of skin against skin, is irresistible. They want more. They want to feel closer, to have it between them and around them. More and more and more, sometimes. However, they can't reach as far as they'd like. That's when I, hand to hand, I take over and stretch, stretch, stretch. And they grow, maybe just the length of a fingernail every time. But they grow, just so they can reach out, clutch what they want, and then throw it aside, discard it. That's why they are tired. Because they never stop seeking, and most likely, never will. Hey, have you ever stretched your fingers to grab a hold of something important, only to learn that it's been long out of your grasp? Have you? I remain silent. These hands are these. My hands. Oh, it's Kenny. Which is kind of creepy at the same time, oh my god. Is that so? How do my hands look when my warmth finally meets yours? Answer me. They look deceitful. Oh, that's my people. <laughs> that may be so. These hands of mine tend to squirm into places I could never imagine. You sure they do? Be it tiny in the walls, housing arachnids of all sizes, or the pockets of midnight walkers, strolling the parks that sometimes serve me as home. These fingers squirm in and drag out what they find. <laughs> Shit, man, if the protagonist is a monster fucker, they're hot damn, they're already sold. It's like, oh, I'm sure they'd go to a lot of places. <laughs> and this. <laughs> oh my god, you have already made your decision. <laughs> Help me befriend a new partner. What if arachnids serve me as unlikely 
sustenance. There are too many ifs. But I'm also too afraid to find out the truth. So I let them stay with me, slowly becoming an, a part of me, helping me grow. I've grown so much. I had to lower my head when entering your room. These fingers won't stop, squirming and coiling around everything they feel. And I can only hope they merely take what they need. I would be saddened if my body grew too much because I wouldn't get to enter rooms like yours anymore. Hey, have you ever attempted to help yourself grow by mercilessly taking away from someone else? Have you? I be silent. These hands are these my hands. Yes, but I kind of want to listen to the third one first. <laughs> Damn, if your protagonist is a is ghost or so? monster fucker, then it's like ah. Is that how? Your hands look. <laughs> Consider me interested. <laughs> they look incomplete. That may be so. Amidst my travels, I have lost more than I can imagine. I have left people behind. People who are my chat companions. Just like you are now. So it's no wonder that by leaving them behind, I will leave parts of me as well. Things such as skin, or flesh, or bones, or anything that makes me, me, as farewell gifts, you could say. It sounds like an excuse, and that's because it is. Because I am careless and overly curious. I can't help but wonder how everything feels to the touch, like the crust of a tree, or the surface of a frozen lake. But sometimes, I find something else, like a building engulfed in a raging fire. I think of the screams in the distance, or the suffering and death and charred skin, and wonder, how does that feel? So I put my hands to the fire. It hurts, but I tolerate it. And keep them there for long enough that the uncomfortable feeling dissipates and the smell of charred skin starts protruding from my own and when I take them out the feeling persists that horrible but intoxicating feeling I seek such extreme sensations the edge of a knife sometimes provides it other times the fangs of a beast most times however it's by mere accident. I would place my fingers over a benign surface, only to discover it's covered in spikes, and I would leave my hands there as I traverse along it, leaving parts of my body as a farewell gift. In that sense, it's not so different from what I was saying before. The fire and the blades are friends. They have granted me times of great fun, so... It's only polite to leave something of yours as a sign of thanks. He, he sounds like he need to sign up for some BDSM partner. I'm just saying. He needs to go to the BDSM club. But there's one thing I've always loathed from these encounters. They're always painful. I'd rather they weren't. Hey, have you ever placed yourself in way, only to feel the satisfaction you've realized is not yours, have you? Bruh, that's too deep, man. I may silent. These hands are these. My hands. No, you tentacle hand. That Let's go back. DC fool. Yes. Bitch. So you won't look at me, even though my hands could be the same as yours. Think about it. Maybe you and I are similar. No, I know we are. I can feel it in my skin. Oh. Can you hear it? My skin is pulsating. It has been long. Since this happened, it's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. I want.
wander the world, wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look, but it's not like anyone will do. If it did, then it would be oh so easy, since I could show myself to everyone at once, every living person in this land, and ask them all the same question. Someone will answer. There's no doubt about it, but it might not be the answer I wish for. Since I don't want to be judged, I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. It scares me. That is why, when someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. I hide, fading into the dark. But you might be different. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way you can help me, and we can both be fulfilled. Ah, just thinking about it, it makes me feel... Feel... Something. I cannot describe it. I am not good. With words. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. They were not good at it either, and thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge, yet they did, simply because they could. It is weird to remember, because it makes me think of why I want to be seen, and I am not. Sure. I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. But I will. Soon, once you open your eyes, There it is again, just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me, and you finally take those bed sheets off your body, <laughs> and you inspect every crevice of mine, <laughs> and you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours <laughs> to let me hear what I am, and to maybe even give me a name. Makes me feel, but I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. Hey, what does my expression look like when that veil of uncertainty finally disappears? What will we convey to each other? Answer me. So the expressions look like, oh god, I'm just sitting here going like, oh. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be a horror game, but. I'm getting kind of excited. <laughs> like, oh, you know, you know why you chose this protagonist? Cause they are they are a potential monster fucker candidate. That's why. No, they, they will feast their eyes on you and be like, ooh, the ooh. Hey, you been here often? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Okay, it's a cheerful smile, it's a surprise grimace, it's an emotional stare. We could go for each options as well before we, we choose the final one. Okay, maybe maybe I'm saying it wrong for saying good deed and go to a BDSM club, but she, maybe maybe finding a sad a sadish they'll be they will be enough to be like, yes, like this fire on me. You will do that? Yeah, maybe that's what you need, man. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm botching the game. I'm botching the mood of the game. A cheerful smile. Just fucking Christ. That may be so. It would only make sense for the end of this journey to bring me joy. It has been so, so long. I can no longer remember. It all began, but who's to say it had a beginning? Maybe the starting point 
is that faint memory. The earliest one I can recall. I was walking, and for some reason, it was daytime. I rarely travel during the daytime, only when the fear of being seen isn't there. So I must have believed that was the case. But it's strange, since the place I was walking through was a city. One full of people. I couldn't see them, but I knew they were there, hiding in the shadows, with their backs against the dirt, completely motionless, completely silent, living in wait of their deaths. And what's more, none dared to look at me. Did they even know I was there? feeling a certain kinship towards the hidden inhabitants of that settlement. They were like me. Living in fear of what others might think. And who's to say I wasn't one of them? Maybe I spent my days as part of the scenery as well. And one day I decided to go for a walk. A walk that hasn't yet found its end. It's my earliest memory. And my most joyful one. No experience afterwards had made me want to smile more than that. So if you say I am smiling, then surely, that's how it must be. But tonight, I'm not joyful. So if my expression is truly one of cheer, then I must be lying through my smiling teeth. Hey, have you ever expressed honest happiness in your face, when in reality, you're feeling anything but, have you? I remain silent. I'm sure a lot of us do. This expression, is this, my expression? Well, I'll is find out so? later. Then, what does my expression look like, when that fill of uncertainty finally disappears? What will we convey to each other? Answer me. Surprise Grimace. A surprised Grimace. Jesus fucking Christ. That may be so. Tonight is the first I hear about my eyes. Or my hands. And the new and unexpected is always a source of surprise. People always act surprised when I show myself before them. So it makes sense that my appearance would surprise me as well. At times, they stop moving, merely looking at me in awe. At others, they scream and run and exhaust themselves to the point they can't think. Others, they don't feel much at all. They sit and stay and attempt to talk. I don't like when they do that. It's like they are not seeing me. Not recognizing me. I much prefer when they freeze. I much prefer when they scream. Oh my god, you're such a pain in the ass. A reaction is what I want. It's a sign that I am there and that my existence means something to them. That's why I like you. You did not scream, yet you did not run either. You were surprised and averted your eyes. But instead, you stayed, listening, acknowledging, you are the first to do this for me. You are new and unexpected, yet, how odd, is this really, surprise? No, you say it is, so it must be true, but what I'm feeling right now, what I'm experiencing, it's not the same as those who've seen me, as if their surprise was something different from mine. Hey, have you ever acted surprised? Not because you are, but because you believe that's how you must feel. Have you? I mean, silent. I mean, as I said before, I'm sure a lot of people do, right? <laughs> Plus, you have situations where you'll be like, I guess I'm supposed to act like this. This expression is this. 
expression. Is that so? What? Answer me. Is it emotionless there? An emotionless stare. That may be so. Expressions are difficult. They require one's face to contort in many different ways. I am not capable of that. Everything about me is stiff. From the way I walk, to the way I talk, to the way I feel, it is something I noticed long ago. I may hurt and I may grow, but I do not change. Not in the way other people do. People interact with each other. They form connections. They experience thrills. A person becomes someone different with each passing second, turning old and perishing. However, I don't think I'm capable of any of those things. My journey began long ago, longer than any person has ever journeyed. And in my life, I have seen others born and die, born and die. A person's existence is so fleeting, and yet so many things happen to them. So many worthwhile memories. It is something I lack were I to write a book. I could not fill a single page. It's not for the lack of memories. But rather, because these memories mean nothing to me, save for a minuscule number, they are all the same. Blending with each other into a mottled gray, lacking the meaning people often give to that which they care about. Perhaps, if someone else had lived what I had, they would see meaning, they would treasure it, but I cannot, no matter how I try, I can't see any worth in what I do, and by extension, in what I am, I want for someone to tell me how I look, yet, I don't see that as important, no one but me would care, so why should I care? Like are you fucking pain ass? But that doesn't mean I have never felt, I feel things, joy, sorrow, fear, I am always feeling, and right now, I am feeling strongly, it's here, in my pulsating skin, you say my expression is, emotionless, that it shows, nothing, and if you say so, it must be true, but soon you will see something, because what I'm feeling is not nothing. Hey, have you ever masked yourself with indifference, only to hide the overwhelming emotions hiding beneath? Have you? I be silent. This expression is this. My expression. My God, bro, you might be onto something. I feel like I feel like if I actually encountered this kind of situation, I just kept like is um is admiring me. I'll be like I'll try to pay attention, and then halfway through I'll just fall asleep. <laughs> I'll just fall asleep for good. It's like, oh God, his whispering is too, it's too, it's making me sleepy, and I won't be able to answer his questions, and I'll just I'll just go to sleep. <laughs> I'll be a very terrible listener. <laughs> uh, hey, who asks he? I'll ask people when they're on bed. Dude, it just goes on and on. Yeah, he just keeps going on and on and just like, okay. <laughs> so, Ubera, what do you, what, how, how do you all feel? Like, do you feel like he has a emotionless stare? Or he has a very cheerful grin? Or he has a very surprised, the, the very creepy surprise face? What could it be? What could suit this little guy? You were telling me to shut the fuck up and cover your sheets and sleep. <laughs> Creepy. So, surprise grimace then. Alright. So, then what does my expression when that. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, 
that I would be as well. Just like this guy's gonna, gonna sleep now. Creepy. Okay, surprise grimace. That surprised grimace. Oh God. Ice cream. Oh my god, it looks terrifying. These are my eyes. These are my hands. And this is my expression. I consider these my most treasured features. And you have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. I feel a connection with you. Oh god. I got a bag. You need to make sure of the truth. It is the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you, open your eyes. Whoa, do I do we open our eyes to see this? Or do we do we just close? Or maybe once we open we just see nothing. You know? Could be one. Hello, no. Hell no. Hell no. I mean, we are not opening our eyes, eyes to see this. Holy shit. No. I see. I bet he's constantly looking surprised now. It's like, no, you don't open your eyes. What? I understand. No. It's fine. You have still helped me by answering my questions. No one has done that for me before. So I have no right to ask for anything else. No, you're right. He's sad. No. That is a lie. Ever since I stepped into this room, you have refused to engage with me. Not even once. 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 Did you open your eyes? Not even once did you look at my face. You stayed there, acting as if you were asleep, feigning ignorance and not moving an inch, at times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. Really makes me question if he's actually implying that the, this is actually all in the protagonist's like, head. He has this issue. Don't need to call me out like that, damn. <laughs> but you made a mistake. I know you're lying. Because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. I am not what you said I am. These eyes, these hands, this expression. They aren't mine. Maybe. They are yours, but I do not care. Not anymore. Open your eyes. I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. And that's all you did. So now, you will open your eyes and see me for what I truly am. You said so. Remember that in this room, you know how everything looks. That's what I thought, not what I said. It was those words that brought me here. So you have to, you have to do right by that which you claimed. It is time. Open your eyes. Open your eyes.
Will I open my eyes? Do we open? Now that he's, he sounds really angry, bro. <laughs> he sounds really angry. <laughs> no? You had your chance. It's not up to you. Anymore, you won't open your eyes. I will. Something coils around my head. The pressure around my skull is unbearable. I hear something shatter. Ah, uh, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Tell me, my new friend, what do you see? I want to answer, but they've grabbed onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is. All right. I close my eyes. That won't do. Open your eyes. Open them. Open them now. Open, open, open. Open, open, open. There's something in my hand. It's what I left behind. What is it? It feels important. But I can no longer open my eyes. Hey, and the... Yeah, the monster is just a jackass. Jesus Christ. Wait, let me see what you was. I I saw I saw you, but I was trying I was trying to keep to the mood of the the scene. Hey, oh my God, you are having PTSD? No, what you knew some had someone a classmate who had, dude had a breakdown. He said stuff like this. Uh, damn. That's yeah. That kind of shows. That I can actually kind of shows that they do need help. It's like, oh, you seem like you're having a like that's it. I don't know. I don't think people can get to that point if they haven't like ex like get to a point where they, they they get to a point bad enough that they would like react in some manner. Unfortunately, it's even in the same tone, damn. I don't care now my problem kill me now. I mean we are kinda like still alive but we can't see anymore, is it worth it? Look at the ugly monster, you're calling them cough bro. Okay, even even without eyes you can still go to the floor and, and press the 999. That was a really good writing, right? I thought so as well. Yeah, the monster is just a jackass, like oh my god, you piece of shit. Yeah, the right I Quite, I'm quite fond of it. Like, I thought the writing was really good. The dude went to get therapy thing. Oh, the dude wrote you a whole poem that was like the eyes thing? Bruh! Oh my god, Ubera, there, there. Holy shit. Oh, I hope he. I hope, you know. 
God. That sounds like a really uncomfortable event for you. Hey, but at least it seems like he went to therapy, so... Wonder what happens if he don't lie? Is it even possible to just not lie? I wonder... Oh, we could probably like be... Uh, uh, depending on how he said it. Then you could probably kind of guess which part of him is not lying, right? Probably? Well, you were legit worried that guy would- Oh, it was scary. Oh, I'm sorry, like... Sorry that you had to experience that. It is a legit fear. Lah. I feel like even I- if, Even if I'm the one who's like- ah! I will understand if the other person is scared. <laughs> you will be like, oh my god. I, I, like, you look like... <laughs> Like when I die three days, like I don't blame them for like I feel like I, I won't blame I don't I don't blame them for like feeling such a <laughs> feeling feeling like God <laughs> that was scary. It's like it was. What's the good ending now in Kyria? I wonder if there is. Yeah, let's try. I wonder if there is a good. There has to be a good ending, right? If, if they are like. They look lost. That may. I am. My days consist of the thought, terror, and terror. So I hope even if there's that way, no matter where it goes, no matter how terrified, no matter the count, no matter what, I will forever be confused. But I will for. What is that something that. It's been so long. What is it? Is it? Is it? A, is it nearby? Is it you? Hey. Let's try this. Have you ever looked that you end up? Have you? These are. Are these? Let's try this one. This one. My eyes. A good answer. If people say stuff, it says it's an intense tone, like this eyes guy. This eyes guys, yeah. The she in the voice. Maybe he's just sad. Maybe he wants us to think that he needs help. This guy, you mean? What are you talking about, classmate? Or this guy? Maybe he is. Maybe he has like. There's only one way to open. Maybe he just wants like you know. So you won't look at me, even though you're. I can't see them, but I can imagine round light shining like. Yeah, jewels. maybe you know he just so wants so someone to understand it, man. He wants. Fine. He wants a partner. We still have time. He just needs to find one. He needs to find a monster fucker to be like, oh. <laughs> the night is oh. Down. <laughs> oh my god, no, I was gonna say some really shit stuff, man. People are good at closing to you. They look tired, they look incomplete. They look Who wants to feel sorry for it? And give love. Yeah, they're gonna be too gain, bro. Oh yeah! Oh my god, it's getting me excited. Shit, me. Probably not agree. Maybe it's emotionless because he would say for the happy and the surprise is that I don't really feel that way right now. So perhaps it's this. Just gone. 
fucking <laughs> fucking asshole. He wants a voice. He's desperate. Perhaps. Bro, what the fuck? Yo, is there really no other way? Wait, let me go and check properly. I don't open your eyes. Endings. Are there more than one endings? There are more than one endings. Okay. Let's do it again. If I, if I just like so don't open my eyes throughout and you see what he says. God, this cookie kicker. Cookie clicking skills have finally been put to use. He said he can't describe his emotion, so maybe it truly is. He can't feel it. Like he's likely to be emotionless. Okay. No. Think that would happen. Maybe they are yours, Same thing. but I do not care. Not anymore. Open. I didn't. I didn't want, and that's all you did. Open. You had your chance. It's not up to you anymore. You won't open your eyes. I will. I leave this piece of myself here with you. I must go. I must look for the right person. Oh, I just, I just realized my, my mic is muted. It's the same thing, Uvera. I think, right, I think no matter what you choose, he will always say that you are a liar. I feel like... Oh, I see somebody in the comment talking about the game. Why does this somehow make me aroused? I almost never get aroused when I'm alone. Oh god, did I get tricked into ASMR culture? Oh my god. Yeah, that's right, this game. Because other than other, is there a good ending? Or do you always die? It is according to this thread. I would say when opening your eyes really early, when doing that, the creature disappears. But it's only when you just don't open your eyes throughout that you actually see the ending. So... In the end, he will always be dissatisfied, isn't it? I can't remember. I actually can't remember. I've seen this playthrough before, but I actually generally can't remember already. I don't, but I don't think there were any other endings. You guess it's a ghost? A ghost is think more of his imagination or legend is just some, you know, those kind of cryptic creatures. I think, where perhaps, kind of, yeah.
Would it be really be a ghost if it can like interact with you? Like, oh god. I mean, it goes, I mean, usually ghosts that care and shit, okay. Huh, it said that there are a total of 27 different endings depending on how you respond in conversation, so there's a lot of replay opportunity to get most out of the experience. Huh. Then I think it's kind of cool though, makes you think. They leave it open ended. Yeah, they leave it open ended, so you're like. Huh. What happened? Why could it be? Why did it be like that? Could it be like this or that? Yeah, I think. It, it is, they say there is code 27 endings, but I think it's those if you choose to open your eyes. Or if you don't. Those were the... <laughs> I like another person's comment, commenting about this game. This is not a horror game. I don't accept it. This guy has a crush on me for sure. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a dating sim game. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, I feel like, yeah. Just like, even though I chose differently already, he, he still says the exact same thing of like, You are a liar. It's like, okay, man, damn. Right. I don't see, yeah, I guess there's no good ending, Ubera, sad to say. Oh god. Oh well. I'm checking the official website right now. See if I could find anything about it. Oh, it's supposed to be a game jam. It's a submission for a game jam, I think. Yeah, it's a submission for a game jam to make a visual novel. I'm not seeing the theme. I guess just anything might do, as long as it's a visual novel. From the start to end. Yeah, the the quote seven I think the quote twenty seven endings is just choose how the creatures look like at a specific point in the story. So it's just how different they look at every like point. It's all right. Aside from that, yeah, I like I like the writing. I like the writing. I like how it looks. Yeah, it is certainly leave an open end to like. Well, oh, that kind of sucks though, cause no, that means no, you, you're kind of doomed in a way that because he visited you, so no matter what you answer, as long as you don't open your eyes, he'll be like, "I don't like what you just answered me." He's like, "Damn, then don't ask that you asshole." <laughs> and then you just feel like, "Oh my god!" So the protagonist is like. You always end up with, oh, gee, I can't see anything anymore, man. Oh, that sucks. That sucks, Ubera, it sucks. Oh, damn. Oh well, okay. Anyway, it's it's uh three twenty a.m. right now. Very late. <laughs> fear of the unknown. Get fear the uh, fear of the unknown gets me going, yo. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Let me move. I'm gonna just gonna move here and just end the stream. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out the stream tonight. And uh. I saw Kata Bianca as uh, uh, resubbing to me uh, 12 hours ago. So, uh, whether Kata Bianca is here or not, thank you so much once again for the resub for the six months. 
if you're here then if you heard it then yeah if you don't i still gonna thank you so uh game made people horny like the whole thing is just making me go like ah you, you are looking for a monster fucker that's all i could think i can't help it i guess i just i i can't help like drawing that to that like drawing that conclusion you get what i'm saying oh my god Uh, I don't think I got anything else, so... I don't think I got anything else, so... Yeah! Caroni! Oh shit, we got a new vocabulary now. Ain't, ain't that for a lot of horror I guess I'm like, ooh! I'm scared and very horny at the same time. Yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> oh, God. I know some people will probably be like, oh, yeah, I, I can get into that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I think I end the stream. I'll end the stream now. Thank you so much for hanging out on the stream tonight. Uh, Kana could not make it because her Wi Fi died, unfortunately. So, oh well, you can, if you are watching the bot. If you're here and watching the vlog, Kana, thanks. Thank you so much once again for the gift. Uh, <laughs> it was a funny game. Um, and I appreciate that. And once again, thank you so much for the resub, Kata Biancas. And for those that like, came in here to like hang out. They like, hang out for both. I either or both of the games, Toilet Chronicles and Don't Open Your Eyes. I really like this game. I thought the writing was nice. I really enjoyed it. So I'm glad that like you know at least like some of you guys do, uh, enjoyed it as well, and yeah, rest well. You you too. It's very late. You should sleep too. Oh God. I'll see you guys again next time. Uh, next time whenever whenever I stream. So rest well. Good night. Have a have a good sleep. Oh God, you're leaving. <laughs> And all have a decent day for those at the other side of the time zone. And yeah, I'll see you guys again on the next stream. When I do stuff, when I do. Bye.